Nicholas asks, hello there. That's so nice that he starts that. I was, some people just are so rude. They just jump right in with the question without the greeting. And so this is nice. I was wondering if it is possible to at least show an Outlook calendar in SharePoint online. More specifically, bookings for a conference, et cetera. Is there a free web part for this? Uh, the .b web parts from Microsoft is no good. What I want is in the calendar view, like a whole month at a time. <sighs> okay. Lots of- Best you could do with that would be to to export or set up an ICS file and hope that you've got something on the SharePoint side that would ingest that and show it as a calendar. How's that Wait, for? So we have a one family. out of the hat. <laughs> we, uh, my family, we have a shared family calendar in SharePoint. Um, and this is kind of a Byzantine path, but follow with me. Uh, the calendar started out in SharePoint but uh, both my wife and I access it through the Outlook desktop client. And we typically add items to it and, you know, pull copy from other calendars. So in a roundabout way, you know, SharePoint can host it, but the folks in Outlook can go ahead and work with it simply by attaching the calendar to Outlook. And that's, you know, the way I've done it in the past. Um, But, and that's that's a one-way street i want to point out that you can't go the opposite direction you can't host an outlook as in if we're going to talk technically here exchange right then put it in sharepoint the reason for that is a complicated mess of identity authentication and authorization uh that it, it just doesn't play well um you you can try to hack it with a um an iframe web part um and an outlook online but it's ugly it requires double authentication from users it's it's bad so iframe's a five letter word man i know it's interesting that you could say iframe and it evokes an emotional response it is (laughs) one of the blade runner questions to (laughs) identify replicants That talk about iframes and they freak out and start the killing The Comp uh, question on iframes. <laughs> and it doesn't work on Mac at all. Okay. Yep. I know this. So whenever somebody brings up this topic, which it comes up often, A lot. Yeah. Um, my first question is, what are you actually trying to do? And 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 where where who's entering the events and what's their requirements? Because the hell is a problem. As Sean mentioned, you know, if it's a SharePoint calendar, you can enter your events in SharePoint through some sort of custom form or a Power App for that matter, or uh, InfoPath, another five letter word. Um, Or you could hook it into Outlook and create it through there. Um, But if a bunch of people need to access it through Outlook and you're, you're gonna go that route for viewing, it's probably better hosted in Exchange. But then yeah. you cut off your ability for SharePoint. Well, and yeah. what are they? And like you said, Max, what are they trying to accomplish? Are they trying to just display information? Because if they're displaying information, there is the if you do a group in Office 365, there is the group events web part in SharePoint that will display content from a group calendar, so you can display it in there. Um, or you could put it in a list, and you could do the calendar view on a list. Um, obviously you'd have to kind of jump through a few hoops and do a few APIs in the background or pull a graph call to get the information from um, Exchange into the list and then show it in the calendar view. Um, There are some third-party web parts out there that actually do accomplish this to some degree. Um, But yeah, Yeah. to his point, it's like, what are you trying to accomplish with this? There are, and this is actually a big topic of conversation for me because, um, you know, we have a client who's really done a lot of really cool stuff with this. Um, and we're constantly having this conversation of, can I do this or can I do that with the exchange calendar data? Well, again, are they trying to just display it? Does it need to have the the integration with with Outlook? Are you trying to have that link there? Or are you just displaying information? I mean, I so I have uh, you know different tools that I use. Like I have for for allowing people to go and register and sync with a certain calendar, I use Calendly 
for that. So a third party application. There's no SharePoint interface. I have no desire to put it there, but there's a web interface for that. Like I can have it in Teams, I can have give people access, I can put that in a tab and let people have access that way as, as far as scheduling things, seeing availability. There is creating a shared calendar and giving people access to that so they can within Outlook see an overlay, but then you don't have the SharePoint component of that. So what are you trying to accomplish? If it's a like it's a, it's a major all company site and you want to have event calendars and things that are out there, I would do it as a list and change the view to a calendar view for that. And you have a limited number of people who then have access and you could create a form where there's a request process that in a workflow to approve those items and then get entered in. There's a lot of things that you can go and automate. So like so many of these questions we get asked is like, what are you trying to do? really you know, around this. So uh, it, it can be confusing to look at just the out of the box capabilities. You're looking at the problem through the lens of your understanding today, uh, approaching it by, well, what's the web part that I should be using rather than what am I trying to accomplish for the, for the business? And is this even the best way to do it here on SharePoint or an Outlook or a combination of those? Or, or you're open to new ideas or other things. <laughs> new ideas. I mean, I see specifically in the question here, more specifically bookings for a conference. Well, yeah. you, you, threw, you threw the word bookings at me. So I, I have to say, it, if this is a kind of thing where you're having people sign up for the bookings at the conference and you want a team to be able to see it, Microsoft Bookings is included in your Office 365 subscription. Yeah. Yep. Or Teams registration. Yep. Yep. Lots of opportunities and options. <laughs> I ha I can't say that word without you know doing the hand motion there. For you know, it's, it's not a problem, people. It's an it's opportunity. A Once again, there are four different ways to do the same thing that all have their benefits and deficits. Good times, good times. <laughs>